And uh, welcome down here to the beautiful Bomberdrome 2.0. And I'm joined by the one and only Mr. Linton Ascot. Linton, beautiful night down here. Yeah, not too bad, Tone. Bit bit warmer than uh, last week at the moment. Although but, we yeah. just managed to both stick the jacket on, so uh, a little bit there. We've got Christian on the uh, camera tonight. He's doing a great job. He's not going to fall off the ute up the back there. And <laughs> Mr. the one and only Mr. Scotty Gill uh, producing tonight, mate. We're excited to have Gilly around as well. Yeah, Mr. ALN. Oh, watch out, <laughs> hey. Look at him go. <laughs> and uh, and we've got the two combatants tonight. We have the Woodville Warriors against the Brighton Bombers. And uh, Brighton coming off a, uh, a loss last week to Glenelg in what was quite a physical game, Lip, at 10-7. Uh, oh, it was a great game to watch. Spectator-wise, it was just up and down. Hardly any flags thrown. It was just, just a great contest. Big had bodies, great hits. Really had that finals feel oh. about it, didn't it? Yeah, it did and uh, last week, Woodville. Uh, up and about up a little bit. and about a little bit. Yeah. So, And you can hear the chirp out there when they were warming up. The uh, Woodville Warriors. So they've they've come to play. Yeah, well, they were chirpy last time they beat Burnside, and then they, you know, met Br um, Brighton the week after, and I think they lost by about eight or nine. So, you know, it's all right to be up and about, but you know, you, it's a bit different sort of competition. So it's a little bit different competition, but we'll see how Brighton pulled up after last week. Obviously, uh, they have a uh, couple of ins. They've got uh, young Harry Edwards. I don't think played last week with the uh, pole. He comes in. Tommy Freeman comes in for uh, for Brighton. From that side we saw last week, and I think other than that, uh, the team looks fairly Same. similar. Yep. Be a huge contest out the middle tonight. Is uh, Jesse Winnan going to take the face-offs? No, it'd be Jared Hines, I'd imagine. Jared, Jared against, Hines uh, against Jack Woodford. Jack Woodford. So there's yeah. a huge contest for uh, for a uh, gentleman who has moved clubs this year. Yes, and, uh, he, to Woodville. He will uh, be looking to put his mark on the uh, on the game as a, we nearly get a touch out here. Look at that. Just hide that one. From Harry as the ball rolls out under the Ute, and the, uh, uh, two goalies will be interesting because Lincoln Potter back in the cage for a few weeks now since his injury, and uh, Clinton Barker who wasn't too bad last week at all. Well, look, both keepers last week—that's where the game sort of sat, wasn't it? To be honest, yep. um, and is it going to be that type of game tonight? Yeah, it'll We've... be interesting. I think Woodville's defense are going to be pretty switched on because you know, like Brighton's. Brighton's offense is fantastic. When they move the ball, it's hard to stop. So Woodville defense have to be on the ball tonight. And uh, we are live and free on Facebook uh, and obviously on the YouTube if you've got the uh, the big television. So uh, stick it on, sit down, strap yourselves in. And uh, I'm going to, for the couple of times tonight, I know uh, the... Game today, uh, there's a couple of games went on lip. We might go through a couple of them and maybe even go through the women's games last night. Actually, let's start with the women's games. Yeah. So uh, you came up against Glenelg last, last night, night, the Blue yeah. Warriors. And um, went down 11-7 in a really tight contest. It wasn't until the last quarter Glenelg sort of got away, you know, with a couple of quick transition plays. And, yeah, so the Sturt Woodville girls were pretty good last night and you know we weren't playing for anything anyway so you know we're still in the finals next week so it was just putting in a that's few a good, things good ironing step, out a few things good yeah. step into the finals 11-7 oh. because realistically I think you've got uh, Burnside will be the other uh, finals, finals competitor, competitor yep. and they played Brighton last night I believe and, and it was they went down 20-5 to five. okay so there's a bit of difference between those as we yeah. see the Brighton boys just uh, getting a uh, guard of honour from the young Brighton uh, up and comers we like to see that, don't we? Yes. Get the old mini young, league almost. Young kids running around before game as well, having a little game. And due to the COVID restrictions, obviously teams now just uh, run out with their 10. With the uh, two officiating uh, guys tonight, Polly backing up after a Glenelg and uh, Sturt game today. He's looking sprightly out there, Robert Polly Farmer. Well, I don't know if he'll last the whole game, then if he's already done one. Oh, he threw a couple of flags today, uh -huh. but uh, you don't often see. And then we got Bradley Bogger Edwards out there as well. So we wish the boys good luck. Oh, and we have Jesse. And Wynnen. Jesse, when I thought mm. Jesse, he did it against Sturt the other day. He sort of came in and uh, and took a couple early just to try and break it out. So this is a really good contest against two guys who will play, and uh, we have an illegal procedure. And there we Jack. go, straight away. Jesse. That's un really unusual f to see Jack Woodford, Woodford break. Yep, making a break. So Woodville will be in offense for the first set as the ball kicks down the back there to Dylan Wood. And he's put under plenty of pressure all straight away by the long sticker there in Harry Edwards. So interesting to see. Uh, Woodville, Woodville often come out, mate, and they get a couple on the board normally. And Jesse's one of those players when he picks a shorty up like that that uh, doesn't mind 
doing a bit of work against the uh, Likes pushing early. back like the old boxing, but then you've got another player on him, standing him, Jack Woodford, who's pretty strong as well. So it'll be, that'll be an interesting contest between those two, I think. Yep. So, uh, and, and as I said, we are live on Facebook and on the YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, you can't send us any, uh, any messages. But if you're on the uh, Facebook, as uh, Adrian Ballas just uh, steps in there, he's got Wood coming the other side, steps to... Oh, and there's a shot there from Winnan, just trying to kill people in the, uh, what we call... The uh, shed at Brighton shed now. It, yeah. So yeah, send us send us a shout out if you're online, and we'll try and get to them. We've got William Pike and uh, Kylie and Nick Clothier are watching. Obviously Zach playing out here for the Woodville Warriors. I thought they were sitting down actually, Danny watching. Well, most, they're on. They're on as well. They like the commentary from you, Lip. I reckon. Oh, yeah. So uh, as Dylan Wood just uh, does a bit of razzle dazzle, hanging the stick out, making Harry have to work. He's trying to. Oh, looks oh. inside, just misses a handle, but ball picked up there. Looks inside, there Ballish, goes. there it goes, top one, and then Woodville are on the board for the first one. Great ball movement there, Lip. Nice little uh, feed by Tyson Negerman to Ballish on the um, crease there. So. And Ballish uh, just popping that one up the off side of Chippy. And uh, we will get some uh, replays potentially as the night goes on, just uh, having to come from games and get back here. So uh, we are... Uh, on the board with one nil to Woodville, and that's a great start for Good the Warriors. Start, yep. So Ballish on the board first, and obviously a win out of the face there Jared in Hines. the first one. But uh, Mitch Fuss, one of those young up and coming players, against uh, actually two contracted Australian under twenty three players there, Lewis King. King. And so that'll be a bit of a contest tonight as Jake Rosenthal oh. just burns past K Man, and I believe K Man's in his one hundredth senior game tonight. Very good by I the did, K-Man. I did read something on uh, on the Facebook. So uh, congratulations to uh, Kesavant, a.k.a. the K-Man, a.k.a. the Persian Persia nightclub owner. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure he will want that one back, though, with <laughs> getting blown by. Yeah. Jake broke his ankles. So Woodville. And they've got K-Man over the top here, and he'll take this. He's a chance of going all the way here, K-Man, too, yeah. as he just checks. And they are offside here. They are they are offside, and we are going to get that call. So not great awareness from Woodville. He uh, stopped and turned back and looked as well. He did stop, counter, turned back. But these guys up offense, they need – no one was presenting. We had that opportunity, and, and no one got back. So um, Zach Tremlett is also watching. Matty Bartlett's watching. Janice Clothier says, great start, Woodville. And James Howe, James Howe is also watching live on LSA TV. As the one and only Polly Farmer brings it uh, back into play. And doesn't he have some style with the backward running oh. there? Good there from that rope. Right. So Mitch Fuss, two youngsters. So the two ones just to come up against each other as Kai Williams picks up the ball. And down the back here as uh, Arlen Lim goes to drive. And I tell you, the way Jake uh, burnt past K-Man before, um, that 6-9 matchup will, uh, will give and get, won't yeah. it? Very interesting. Uh, <laughs> Match up there. So uh, Jakey did burn past that as we see Nat Rowe. And, and Nat's really forced his way back into this side. And uh, Kylie, not Nick Cloth, he says, Hi, Tony and Lippy. I'm in Perth watching. Kylie is there. Okay, oh. so Nick's watching online. Hey, Nick, big shout out to you, brother. I hope, uh, hope the weather over in Perth's nice. And we hope you're enjoying this game. And you should be at the moment with a 1 0 lead. And I'm going to give a big shout out to all the Sturt boys at the moment. They're down at the uh, Marion Hotel as their season finished today. And they've had a, a good season with a really young Ooh. side. There's another young man. Arlen Lim pops up. So g'day to all the boys down at the uh, Marion Hotel from the Sturt Lacrosse Club. They're having a couple of beers for you. They mate. might be having a couple of beers to internal ice after today. But uh, I'm sure they're going to have a good night oh. down there. Kai Williams. Doing, doing some razzle-dazzle, as Kai does. And it's bit. good to see him back, in, back into the field after playing box earlier in the year. Well, as I said, he had the, uh, he had the uh, orange sticker on him at the start of the box year for that first, and uh, that didn't last long, to be honest. Jake pops in, rotates back, and a really young, uh, young line-up out here at the moment as we see Nat Rowe just popping. Kicks it out there to Tyson. Big shot, and that'll be a Brighton ball as the backup. So a shot there from that rope. Yeah. But didn't it's interesting when you got Matt Force and you got Tom Freeman standing on over there on the sideline. Yep, so really young. So you've got Jake Rosenthal, you've got Arlen Lim, 
you got Nat Rowe, and Jakey just fell over his own feet. He was going too fast for his own uh, thought. But good defence there from Negaman. Kane Bennett. Oh, sorry, Kane Bennett, that is. Yep. My bad. And look at the league pace. pace on that. And uh, the boys are going to have to look at Kai Williams go too. And they will uh, Oh, stop. nice move. Oh, good save down tipping. low. That was a great ball moving by Woodville, though. That transition there was really good. But Shane Abbott. Chippy was always down, well, and Shane was down as well. Shane was in his uh, customary position on that bottom right as they both uh, run into each other. But, oh, good pressure. There's got to be loose men here, though. And uh, Brighton just subbing through the defence here as Nat Rowe comes off. And we see Matty Fuss, who let a couple of lasers go last week out here, Lip. And Tommy Freeman. And Tommy Freeman also comes on. So uh, Tommy didn't play last week, but good to see him back towards the uh, finals now. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Matty Fuss uh, try and throw so those, those uh, cannons again. Well, there was some heat there, wasn't yeah. there? So we've got a 1 0 scoreline the way of Woodville over Brighton here at the moment. Early or well, halfway through the uh, first quarter. And we s lines up here with Kai Williams on the right, kicks it down the back, steps in, and oh, there's man. Leaming. That was a little easy on the bottom corner. And we'll see that on the Living Choice replay. Uh, Tyler Leeming, that is his forte. Just getting it on those bottom corners there, just putting it away. It is. And uh, apologies, the uh, instant replays aren't actually uh, kicking in at the moment, Lip. But they're you, not uh, instant. Not instant? Not instant, mate. They might happen, but they're not instant. They're like me. <laughs> slow. <laughs> but that wasn't slow there from uh, oh, Leeming. Jack Woodford. Boom, Jesse. And Woodford, on. this is the one that the, the if they can back oh, that Leming second the, one up. Oh. Kicks down the back, and here's Fuss, Leming. looks in, leaving again, oh. and that's going to be a Brighton ball. Oh. Great work from... Uh, Both of them, really? It was. And, uh, Lincoln Potter showed Lincoln a bit of pace Potter there. showed a lot of pace. Maybe yeah. maybe he saw the contest uh, last week between Jake Rosenthal, Lala Lim, and, that, and Cody down Cody, there. Yeah. But uh, great work there from Link. Nearly had that, but again, another easy shot from uh, Leeming there. Yeah. Normally he puts them away. He does, uh, with one on the board butter. already. It's his bread and butter normally. Well, I've seen him in games where uh, he's ended up with seven or eight, eight. like that. Yeah. So and he's one guy you can't just let sneak off that bottom corner. And this is someone who who does a great job. And, oh, that oh. stick side high as I <laughs> just put the mozzer on him. That's a birthday present for Lincoln. But Jack Woodford uh, just throwing that one stick side high. I don't think he'd be that happy with the, the way that one came out. But I'm sure there'll be plenty more coming from Jack Woodford later in the night. Especially if he's winning face off as easy as he did that last one. Time out. Uh, no, no, no. They had uh, they had illegal substitution. Wow. So they turned the ball over and uh, as Leeming dropped that one as well. But Jake uh, Rosenthal is all on the board. So Brighton with the ball in their offensive end. Matty Fuss has it. As Jack Woodford. Woodford. And Dougie Brooks hasn't taken many face-offs. He's taken a different role in this uh, in this Brighton side now. Almost that two-way midi. And Jack Woodford, oh, runs in to love it. Bounced off him, though. Here we go, Dougie. Well, it wasn't like the bounce-off last week Oof. between uh, him, him and, and Dan, Dan Evans. Evans. Oh, nice oh, looks cut. inside. Oh. Great cut from uh, Woodford. Woodford. Beautiful feed there from Leeming. And... Uh, and as they uh, start to settle down. Why would you want to settle down with Living Choice? Uh, you can get in touch with Living Choice, our major sponsor on livingchoice.com.au on 8, I'm oh, sorry, 1-800-502-524. And they will look after you uh, exceptionally well, Lip. Yes. If you look, if you're looking at somewhere to go and retire, why wouldn't you go to Living Choice? I think I'd be there. And then I might just sit there and watch uh, replays of lacrosse Cross. just uh, over oh. day and day and day. And there's Jakey Rosenthal. He went down again. I wonder whether he's got the long stops out there. And that's about the second or third time Dougie's actually dropped that ball up there. So I wonder whether the light, the lights are good out here, but... Uh, maybe just at a glance at the light at the wrong time. Or maybe and trying to go before uh, he, we've got the ball. And oh, Jake go. Rosenthal, oh. good save there from Potter. Potter. Great pick up there from King. King. And he's off to the races, Lewis King. Really uh, built up quite well, hasn't he, Louis? He's been hitting the gym. And Woodville will find themselves in an offensive set. Uh, one all is the score on our Living Choice scoreboard. 
And uh, it's been checked in, so the ball now can't go over and back. And you've got Jesse up the top here. I don't think he'll mind that matchup on uh, Byron. Getting him up high. Because uh, they're really spread wide here, aren't they, Woodville? Yep. They're looking at... Uh, and Here we go, Jesse. This on is the, the one. We can set that pick and roll off. Yep. And Jesse playing that box. He's picked to the shorty. Just oh. Oh, threw that oh. one away. Did he try to get... Um was His there mate a, killed there, Jared Hines, with yeah, that I was going to say, pass. he just missed that. But that would have been on had it been. Oh, actually, he missed that one. Polly was standing right in front oh, of him. Look, he had a better up. angle. Great pick, up, uh, Woody. great pick up from Woody. And here we go. you got Pridham on the overlap as well. He's got to go. So Pridham still looks up the top. Oh. Looks into Fuss. Oh, good save there from Potter as well. That one bounces out the back. So he's come to play. Oh, great oh, pick, pick up. up there from Matty Fuss. Fuss. Oh, Ward. And that is going to be yeah, a Ward. Ward. Yep. And good job from Zach Clothier. Pushing away the stick. And we'll give a couple of shout-outs while it's coming down. We've got Benny Robinson, who got a lazy little five or six today against Dirt. Michael Gowdy's also watching. Greg Mollison back online. Greggy, big shout-out to you, mate. He says, g'day, boys. James Mullins uh, coming off that win against for Burnside today as an outside shot is had there. But uh, that's not going to trouble too many people. And young Jacob Newman also watching. And uh, we're starting to build the viewers on here. And if you want to build and get your verandas, carports, roofing and gutting, getting on to traditional on tra tradvc.com.au on 8376 3639. Tell them LSA TV sent you. And they will look after your lip as uh, they are quality builders. Yes. Raylene Sutton and Sudsy. Great people, great, great lacrosse people lacrosse as well. People. And, and, and that's what all our uh, sponsors are, aren't they? They're all good great. lacrosse people as Matty Fuss knocks that one down, but he's going to slash slash one. So Matty Fuss. So we get to see uh, the Warriors' first man up man here, up. Lip. Chris Evans is also watching. Uh, another one of the young Sturt guys who played his first year of State League lacrosse. So uh, great to have Chris online. Jess Morrison's watching and Anthony Philippa also online tonight. Jess Morrison. Mm. Big shout out to Jess. Jess, yeah. She was out here running around last week. She got a bit aggro last night, Jess. Oh, did she? Oh, yeah. She, uh, yeah, They didn't like her stick at the start of the game, and it's happened in the last few weeks in the women's game. They're checking the sticks, and there's been a few where I've been sitting on the sideline, me and Steph, for, for a quarter fixing sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, Jess was one last night, copped it, and she just let it get... Just about threw it over the fence when she Could have been off. an unsportsman like before the game started. But no, she got one during the game, though. Oh, through the game? Yeah, okay. throwing the ball away. Oh, we won't tough. talk about it. It was a bit tough on Jess, but I didn't think it was too bad. But, yeah, Tammy didn't like it, so just had a little bit of a rest. But Jess I, Morrison is playing great lacrosse this year in the women's. Yeah, no, she is. She's having a, a breakout year as Jess Morrison, and we can't wait to watch her in the final series. As uh, Jessie Winnan had a shot there before, oh, which... Oh, oh Jared Hines, Hines from downtown. Yeah. And uh, I was going to say, uh, had another shot on the other side there. But uh, that was... Uh, There's a replay. It's a nice feed Hines. by Negaman. No one came, no one to, came him. to him. No Doug Shinnick was a bit late on the slide. And, but, uh, um, there we go, Jared Hines. On the ground. He comes, comes to play tonight as well. So now he's going to take off the face-offs. So just score West. the goal and then get another one back, eh? So his first for the uh, night. We've got a 2-1 game here, the way oh. of... And Jackson Stock, he Stock. has been the breakout player for me in the face-off this year. He's been uh, exceptional for Brighton. He really has. And he's as Doug Brooks had that uh, sort of second face-off spot, but it, uh, they've found oh, one. Pick up Lewis King again. That's his second one. Louis's got to get some help here. But great balance from King there too. Mm. We're under immense heat. And it was a great um, chase by Jared Hines, too. Got beaten in the face off, didn't give up. And so K Man. Got the big check on against. Stokes. Oh, oh, Jakey just uh, Throwing the trying, to, uh, trying to get into the nightclub with the Persian nightclub owner there. Oh, oh. Jakey just showing us uh, some love that K Man's been giving him just under the glove. As we see, that was the end of the first quarter there. That went quick. I tell you. <laughs> It's a blink of the eye of these quarters of lacrosse this year. You know, these 15 minutes, it's like, yeah, they just go so quick. And how integral is scoring uh, in this in this shorter form of the 15-minute quarters? And and we see right now that Woodville are leading at quarter time, two goals to one on right. our living choice scoreboard. 
Yeah, it, it's it's put a real different dimension to the game these 15 minute quarters. You know, because you, you don't want to get too far behind in in these quarters because you can just you can't catch up. And uh, we might show a uh, quick replay here for the uh, last shot here, and you can see ball comes down the back, kicks it over there to win. No slide. Just no slide rotates out, oh, wow. and uh, yeah, really late on that top there from Shinnick. Although maybe he's come from the crease, so the crease player could have uh, popped up there with him and and not given him that space. So. Um, Dougie being asked to do something that uh, he wasn't probably, ready for. Probably wasn't his um, play yeah. either, by the looks of it, because for normally Dougie sides early and, and on time, but he, I think it was the guy from the I crease. I think the didn't crease come. guy didn't come with him yeah. and, and just allowed him a massive amount of space to step into. And when you get keepers and guys can uh, free their hands from the top yeah. and they shoot good balls. And we've got quarter time heroes here. The oh. youngsters out, out, out. Wait for us. A few goals. We're, we're more half-time heroes or yeah, these, maybe full-time heroes. These are quarter-time heroes, these youngsters out here. Loving it. Night game. So the goal scorers at the moment for uh, for Brighton, we have the one. Tyler Lemming. And uh, for Woodville, for the Warriors, uh, we have... Uh, Jared Hines and we got... Uh, Balish, Balish. With one. So... Uh, Woodville, 2-1 at the moment. And we might get to a couple of shout-outs. So they were all flowing through while we saw that. Stephen Hammond says Stavros Gaddis. So uh, Rick Smithson is watching. Paul Kernahan's watching. Ollie North is online. Dom Kildare, the great Tom Vick, and the one and only Mr. Scrub, Nathan oh, Arscott, online as well. Started with a long pole today. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Nath, is that, was that the idea? Get you down in defence with a shorty so you change over to a longy. They started with a long pole. Didn't even get, didn't pick up a foul today either, surprisingly, considering that the last few weeks apparently he's um, racking up the fouls. Well, I'm going to say you can't play defense if you don't draw fouls. And he got a, and he got a lefty goal as well. A with, with a, a long, oh, no, with a shorty. Say, with yeah. a long. I've seen him do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's about eight degrees, nine degrees down here at it's the bottom of actually. And uh, there's plenty of people out and about tonight too. Lip, as you look left and right here, and up on the up in the uh, in the uh, boxes, we'll call them. Up in Bomber Dome, yeah. there's a uh, bit of a blackout upstairs. <laughs> bit of a blackout upstairs, so maybe just uh, getting the light shining Shine, down. Yep. And we see winning here again against Woodford. And Matty Fuss starting on the wing this time. And you got Ballish on this side, and then you got uh, Mitch on the other side against uh, Lewis King. That that's a good matchup, and Louis certainly has a number at the moment with two clears yes. or two, two two really ground good ground balls. balls. Yeah. But Jack Woodford, quality opponent. And he wants oh, to tuck that because oh. Lewis King is straight on him, but he doesn't mind. Oh. Good save again from Potter. What? And uh, that wasn't a bad shot there from Woodford. And Woodford uh, has winning running. So Matty needs to, uh, someone needs to come across on that. As winning picks up Pridham. And it doesn't matter whether he's got a long or a short on him, does he, with Jesse? Uh, he thinks anyone is uh, available it's to drive probably, through. It's probably not a good matchup, though. I don't bar him on Jesse. So ball up the top for Woodville. Oh, sorry, out the side by Tyson Eggerman. Now up the top with Ballas. And they really have spread wide here, Woodville, haven't they? They uh, they really want to get uh, Woodville. They're long passes. And if they don't get these right, that ball could uh, come with the... Oh, that's speaking of nearly didn't get that one to him. Some speed as Negerman kicks it to over Winnen. to Winnen. And Winnen won't mind that. He'll shoot from out there. We've seen it in the box game and we've seen it in the field game. As Ballish kicks it down the back. And it's good ball movement here from the Warriors. A bit of patience. Well, their stick skills are certainly uh, up to it. Yep. The passes are all on the shoulder, so, and really spread wide. And Ballish, and there we go. The, against the uh, against Matty Fuss there. And Matty Fuss not having to do as much work as he did last week, late in the game. But ball down the back here with Wood. Wood. He's got Edwards trying to get all over him. Good body there from Edwards, but uh, Wood needs to move the ball. Kicks it inside there. Loses the handle. And we're off to the races here. We've got Woodford on the outside. Shinnick with the ball. And He's I don't mind waiting. it He's when, when Longy's uh, oh, happened look. here. Good down the bottom. And could Arlen Lim says... Could have uh, been a give and go then. It could have gone back to Dougie. But Arlen Lim says, you know what? Let's settle it down. Let's get a good offense. We've uh, no damage done on the first offensive set. From the Warriors. 
And they'll look to uh, have a good set here, I think, uh, Brighton, and look to tie this score up at a two-all game. But if Woodfield can shut this down and get one going the other way early in the uh, early in the second lip, they uh, could be a could be a bit of an upset. Well, it is that time of the year. Yeah, yep. And uh, Brighton will finish second now, so they can't actually drop out of that second All spot. Well, they can if Woodville beat them by ten. Okay, we'll I'll take that back then. So Woodville have come out to take the second spot. But uh, breeding this Brighton side by 10 is another, uh, when oh. you can get in like that. And uh, there we go, Leeming again. Leeming. And he, he he was asking why he didn't get one for the late one late. there. Big yeah. cross check in the back. It was interesting. They, As we'll, no see, call there. we'll see here on the Living Choice Instant Replay. Talk us through this, Lip. Uh, Le Leeming's bread and butter just bullocks his way off the bottom corner there with ease. And Vallis just coming Jumps in late, late there, yeah. just giving a little bit of uh, love to Leeming. And Dominic Lyons needs to be a little bit tighter on there, or Woodville need to send that slide earlier, because Leeming, that is his bread and butter. He will kill you on that bottom corner. And he did. He actually uh, he got well beaten there yeah. by uh, with the footwork. So ball to be one in the middle. Great pick up there. Kane oh, Bennett. just oh. can't quite get a handle. He's quick game, Bennett, but he's going to oh. be in a lot of trouble. Oh. Oh. Going to be in a lot of trouble there. Three on one. And here we go, Leeming again. He's come to play tonight. He's, he's certainly putting his name up for the uh, Living Choice uh, Player of the Round early in the second, mate. Yeah, well, two goals already and then a great ground ball and a great hustle. Three on one, though. Well, I can tell you, I thought there was going to be some carnage there because uh, Kane Bennett yeah. did not see the other guy coming and he's nailed his Brighton teammate. That could have been ugly, but good awareness from Bennett. And ball down the back, and uh, I'm sure they'll be looking at Leeming here again. Yeah. As uh, Clothy has now switched on to uh, Leeming on the outer side. Jackson Stock on the field. Problem is, Tyler Lemmy's has got a bit of a pace, and he's got the body. He just bar he'll push just through. He just does it with ease, though. And oh, uh, great, over. great interception there. Good pick up there from uh, Jared Hines, and ball to be one here. Kicks it Jack forward. It. Oh. So who's going to attack this? And there he is. That's the uh, second good ground ball there too. Doug Shinnick. And the ball's coming back the other way. And that could have been an offside. No. There was a sub being made. Well, that actually oh, was. It was actually an offside there on uh, Woodville. Didn't get picked up. And uh, they don't want to just go swaying on the backside here because... Dave Gow? Dave Gow with pace. You know, he's oh. just throwing Chippy a pass. It's a great outlet. Maybe that was a keeper-keeper thing in the past. Past, yeah. And They've if, got uh, showed a bit of pace there, too. I was going to say, and uh, Matty Fuss would probably have the motors on Jared Hines, too, there. But, uh, again, just asked to settle it down. Mitch Fuss. And back again, Lyons picks up uh, Leeming. So, two-all game here with about five gone in the second quarter. And the ball kicks down to Jake Rosenthal. So what's your prediction in this? Look, we didn't get that to that pre-game. Thought process. Um, we get to see a little bit of the game now. but I, um, I'm going to say Brighton 10-5. And Dougie Brooks just uh, did the same thing to Link. Just threw him an outlet pass. 10-5. I might be going a little bit too high at the score at the moment. 10-5 Brighton. 10-5 Brighton. All right. Well, I'm going 7 all. And I'm going OT. OT. And I'm going to say that Brighton might just get it. So mm -hmm. seven all into an OT with Brighton win. It just has that feeling about this game at the moment. Considering uh, we're six. Oh, Link. Just, uh, that's a terrible outlet to his, uh, to his man. Now, he, now, he sh he's, now he's yelling at his uh, teammate. No, <laughs> you know what? You've got to take ownership of that <laughs> yeah. one. And uh, that one was a terrible... Oh! And uh, you can write that one down as a unforced error, error. to Lincoln, unfortunately, because yep. uh, he's asking him to push away. But he should have hit that pass. He had no one on him. And it came back with interest, interest. Yeah. as we see here on the Living Choice Instant Replay. Jakey Rosenthal. And Jakey Rosenthal. Did, did a spin there and let it go down low and straight past Lincoln's ears. He must have been watching Dancing with the Stars early. Oof. And, twinkle uh, toes. A little bit Good of old a twinkle toes Rosenthal. A eh? bit of twinkle toes Rosenthal. <laughs> well, that could stick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Brighton hit the lead. Uh, in uh, what was, should have been a clear coming Absolutely. back the other way. There's been a few turnovers by Woodville this quarter. That's something you don't want to do against this Brighton team. And any quality team, you, as soon as you start throwing turnovers, it hurts you on the scoreboard. And especially uh, if they have the ability to win it out of the centre. Centre, yeah. Um, 
and again you saw there Jesse up against uh, Jack and you know Jack Jack is a uh, really a veteran seasoned cinnamon he's and he likes Jess and oh, good nice work Jack. there from Jess they're probably just getting ready for the box season, season mate which yeah. uh, won't be far off oh here we go Oh, oh, just lost. He, he was going too for quick. And again, Lewis King. And there should have been a... Uh, there probably... Oh, he got a flag. Who got the flag? I thought there was one on... Uh, Fussy. Oh, so Fussy, Fussy got, the, got flag? the flag? got the flag, yeah. Okay. For a big push in the back. So we got a flag on. Jesse just looking the underhand. Balish picks it up. He's got Pridham all over him. And that could oh. be a hold as well. But uh, we are going not going to see another flag. Push. Okay, so... Uh, We'll see. Just a frustration thing by Matty Push. Fuss just went Matty straight Fush through. Matty Push with the push. push. Yeah, with the push. He gets 30 seconds to think about uh, his involvement in the next play. And we'll get to see Woodville's uh, man up here. So they're sitting in a 3-3 at the moment. No, going to a 1-3-2 is Woodville. And they normally run like to run a little wheel here with Shane just popping back up on the bottom corner. So popping out. Now, for that wheel, the uh, middle triangle turning. But a terrible... Uh, did he get knocked down there? Well, that was just stuck we'll, in the stick. We'll give him a knockdown. I'm going to say, stick check, S. <laughs> Abbott. And looks inside, just feeds it on the backside is Wood. And Wood is lighting up the cage, cage with a bit of heat there. And we see some smoke around. Maybe that one come off the shot. Big, uh, good uh, man up there by Woodville. Kick the ball around. Moved the ball well, yep. and this uh, just looked, looked inside off the back side, and Wood just goes, happy birthday, stick side high on Clint Barker. And we've got a tied game here on the Living Choice I think scoreboard. Byron Pridham was uh, asleep there. I don't know what he was doing. He didn't even move. He so didn't even go nowhere near Dylan Wood. Three all here, and uh, Brighton winning the quarter 2-1 at the moment. We've got Stock here up against Hines. No. Yep, up yep. against Hines and Stock again, again, doing a really good job under pressure. Oh. And this is where he, he can do his damage. He looks down the oh, bottom, lift, look. pop. Great work there from Jackson, Jackson Stock. Stock. And uh, in a blink of an eye, if you can win the ball out of the face like that, you're going to put those, you're going to uh, get those scores back fairly quickly. And Jackson Stock, as I said, having an outstanding second half great, of the year. Great feed as well to Arlem Lim. Great little look. And a really, really good uh, finish from Lim, wasn't it? Yes. So, Woodville get even. And uh, Stock comes out of the middle. And we get Lim on the board. So, another win out of the centre here. And just flicks it back to Fuss. And Fuss oh. just uh, wants to uh, see some pressure, as he does. One, two, oh, nice three, work. four yellow jerseys. That was great control by Mitchell Fussen. Kicks it down and tiptoeing the line there is Leeming. Oh, Mitch oh, Fuss. Mitch Fuss hasn't go. got anyone at the moment. Looks down the bottom. Rosenthal lights up oh. and that's over the top. But good back up there from Lim. And they're going to have to chase that ball. Is there a fair bit of work being done out here lip, uh, at the Brighton Bomber Dome. Yeah, the um, car park's um, all closed off. They're redoing the whole car park. But apparently it's... Um, it, Hopefully it'll be finished, but if it's not finished, all the there'll be car parking, all the fencing's coming down for the grand final. So. Oh, the bomb from outside from uh, Mitch, Mitch Fuss. Fuss. Well, you know what? That's good work by Mitch Fuss because he did all the hard work down here when he got that ball off of St Stokes when he pushed it back to him. Yep. And then all of a sudden, Mitch Fuss was under pressure with two or three people on it, still held the ball, got the ball off, and he's gone down and got the rewards for all his hard work. He that did. Center draw. And it was really good voice from him on yes. the back of stock there yep. just to uh, get that ball. But that was a bomb down there. And uh, you know, if they start throwing things like that, my seven all's not looking all good at all. Because they're five now, Brighton, and, uh, and Woodville three. Well, maybe Mitch said to Matt, you can do it last week. I'm doing it this week. Yeah, anything you got, I got as well. So ball down the back here. Just uh, twisting, twisting, turning limb. Jakey oh, Rosenthal look. looks inside and a lefty. Oh. And that one had a bit of whacker about it as well with the bounce there as uh, Woodford puts that one on the left and uh, kicks it away. Brighton are starting to get a few too many easy shots out now. Well, Fuss just opened up on there, but that ball's just hit the ground. Ground ball to be won here. Brighton, good from Leeming. Leeming. He's, he's playing a really good game at the moment. Looks inside oh. of Rosenthal, just missed the handle. And King with another ground ball. An inherent pass as he's got winning down the back. 
And Jesse uh, will try and do... He, he won't mind that bit of uh, touch-up. And kicks it out the other side there to Bennett. And we are going to have a timeout here to the Woodville Warriors. As we see on the Stephen Gurren calling the timeout. See on the living choice in, on the living choice scoreboard. Brighton five, Woodville three. On the blink of an eye, a bit there, Lip. Mm. We might actually give a uh, might actually give a couple of shout outs while I'm here too uh, for everyone that is watching live and free on LSA TV. Nathan Ascot says bring back the pole. Yeah, maybe <laughs> not. Uh, Shooter Semler, Andy Semler's watching. Anthony Green. One of the young Brighton boys watching, uh, one of my under-15 Phantoms boys. Zach Semler, who was a Phantom boy, also watching. Anita Lewis, who uh, did a fantastic job with all those uh, travelling teams. Oh, especially uh, that time in Perth when we got delayed 15 oh, million hours. And go, go to Kalgoorlie. Kalgoorlie. Roll up at 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the Anita, hotel. big shout-out to you. The one and only Mr. Wazza Brown is also oh. online from uh, WA. WA. Was. Hope you're well, brother. Sammy Dinning's online. Bianca Parker. Bianca also, having from, a bit uh, of a watch. From up in the NT. And uh, Cam Adams says two jackets in the face-off. Two jackos in the face-off. Too strong. Well, they are finding that at the moment. Victoria Lee Edward Spencer says, what a goal. And Donna Wood is also watching. I thought Donna was out here, but uh, maybe not. And uh, Dylan with that one, laser. obviously lighting that one up. Yeah. So we'll see what Woodville comes up with as the uh, timeout has been had by the Warriors. And the ball up the top here with Bennett. And Bennett kicks it down to young Flipper, who's uh, on the field for his first uh, run, I reckon. I haven't seen him out there tonight. No, he was on earlier. He was on earlier? Yep. Good to see uh, like young Sean Flipper. Yeah, he's um, certainly got some skills. And he's starting to grow, isn't he? Yeah. He's getting a bit of height about him. Yeah. His Flip. He might be taller than his dad. Well, continuing on to the dynasty, that is the Flippers. Flippers, yeah. Down at, uh, down at the Warriors. As, uh, oh. as he's just a, he's attaching three. Oh, Bennett. Bennett. Oh, oh, pops it down, down on Chippy and cops one on the ankle. But Bennett just rock and rolls that one in the bottom left hand corner. And uh, we're back here to a 5 4 game on the uh, instant replay. Jesse drew a crowd, and Bennett says, Well, you're going to draw a crowd over there. I'm going to sneak on the backside. Don't think it was a bit late on that slide again. So Bennett with his first of the night, and we're back to a 5-4 game here. And uh, there mustn't be too much time left in this quarter left. So interesting face-off here if uh, Hines can get one up over Jacko. But Jacko working extremely well. Great face-off again from Stock. And uh, Jared Hines, and uh, they certainly won't want to give up another one here to uh, the Brighton Bombers late in this second term. They'd be happy to go inside and look at him. Oh. oh, that was pirouette. That was brilliant. If we oh, there's could, a hold. We could actually potentially get a replay on that because I tell you, Jakey Rosenthal and K-Man both went to the same dance school. And we see here in unison, oh, <laughs> the grass monsters out yeah. the back there in the bright noble. That was like a dominoes effect. That was like they just practiced that one. Yeah. Hey, how good's Gilly? The military two-step. How good's Gilly yeah. just picking that yeah, one up? up. Oh, the grass monsters out there. That was in unison. It's a bit like uh, when you watch the motorbike racing and one goes down and they hit a, hit a bit of patch of Match, oil. Yep. And then another one goes down almost simultaneously. Domino effect. Oh, Bang. rip stick. Oh. Ball. Was, oh. Jabba. I Did think Love it just up? picked that up. Yeah. That was a... As we see, Lewis King oh. being put under pressure with the... And great uh, pressure there from Lim. Knocks the ball out. There must be limited time left. Because Jakey looks pretty uh, keen to get on with it. And they've uh, a Woodville man down here. Bang. Oh. Woodville must be man down here. Because there's uh, there's only five out there. <laughs> and they've just realised on the Woodville bench that they were that, playing, man, that they were down. playing man, man down without a penalty. It's not exactly what you want to do. And uh, Eloise Rowe also online watching. Watching her brother. Timeout called to Brighton, and that will be a, a a last 30 or 40 seconds, I'd say. They want to set something up in this one. And you know what? I'm going to give another big shout-out to the Sturt boys down at the Marion Hotel. They're going to be there all night if you want to get up and dance and uh, have a drink. You they're uh, to dance. They're end of season. You can't dance. Oh, COVID. you can dance when you're sitting down, mate. You have you seen me? Oh, really? In a wheelchair? You know what? <laughs> have a guess what? 
I can dance if I want to. <laughs> you can leave my drinks behind. <laughs> as, uh, that's your singing. That's, that's your singing. Done that's my the singing night. done. And I'll tell yeah. you, once it's done, I'm going to go yeah. to Living Choice. And uh, and and if you want to end up feeling listen a little, to, listen to Tony singing at Living Choice. Little, oh, yeah, no, well. everyone will want to get there then. <laughs> and uh, you can get in touch with Living Choice on livingchoice.com.au. One 524 for uh, all your retirement needs, and I tell you, they they would have another hundred people coming down their lip if uh, I was there every night doing some tunes. Well, you could be the floor show. Well, they'd all have to be the tone, main act. I was, I was tone deaf. Tone deaf. Yep. <laughs> tone. Tone. Tone deaf. Tone deaf. <laughs> but um, yes. So let's see what uh, the Brighton Bombers can do here with this late timeout in the second term, and they'll be looking to put another one on. We're five four here in the second. With limited time left on the Living Choice scoreboard. And who's who have they set up here? Lip, they got oh, Kai Williams God. out the side, side here end. against Lewis King. Jeez, they're up high. So it almost uh, looks like they we're going to have, have uh, a play here. Coming, I reckon it's coming off the back side. I reckon there's a drive coming. Yeah, a little through. flick. Looks for the cut. Looks for the cut. Oh, Lim. Oh. Great to set up there from the Bombers. Just missing that one to the right side post. And didn't have to uh, worry about uh, Potter getting a hand on that one, but that was a great setup. And they'll probably go again as Williams just steps around. He needs to kick the ball on. Steps out. And the uh, siren will go, and the Woodville Warriors up and about with not letting that one uh, score. We've got a 5 4 game here at, on the Living Choice scoreboard at half time. Yeah, it's a very um, close game, as, as we thought it might have been, but still a. Half to go on lacrosse, so you know Woodville will be, you know, pretty happy with what they're doing at the moment. But I think also when you look at that, when Manga calls a timeout, Brighton look like they're working on a few things coming towards the finals as well. So they know. do, and that and that nearly came off, off. because yeah. uh, Arlen Lim had an opportunity, just popped it about a, a foot to the uh, right side Sorry. of that post. Um, and uh, just a couple of little shout-outs while we're here. Burke Finkelstein, Brady. Brady. Who, uh, who is now Robocop man. Robocop. With his, with his uh, new pin, thumb. With his pin hanging out of yeah. his thumb. Big shout-out yeah. to you, Brady. I know we'd love to see you playing, mate. Uh, Sam Perrin says, loving the new lights at the Bomber Dome. Has big thumbs up. Go the Bombers. And also we've got Paddy Palmer, who's down at the uh, Glenelg um, Player of the Year something. Ch Club tonight. champion. Club champion. Yeah. So uh, he... Did a good job. And uh, we might go to a couple of replays here, Lip, as we see on the Living Choice uh, instant replay. Little step inside uh, there, and this was... Brad uh, Barter for Tyler, leaming. Really easy there, wasn't it, against yeah, Dom? I don't know, a lot of people have fallen over down that end of the field. Even Lincoln then. So we see this one just steps oh, around. Jakey Rosenthal with twinkle that little toes. twinkle toe. Well, he wasn't too twinkle toes a couple of minutes later with K-Man. But they went in unison. And uh, you see down here, and I think this is the man up goal where you get Dylan Wood the Wood, other side who's man. letting lasers, laser beams Boom. go. And that was stick side high on Chippy too. So Dylan Wood just uh, ripping some net down there. And this was Jackson Stock. Stocks. This was a great feed down to Arlen Lim. And Arlen Lim just opened up and he said, thanks very much. I'll have that one. And a great job there from Jackson Stock coming out the middle. But a great finish too from uh, Arlen Lim. And then uh, we had this one on the outer side. Where just Mitch Fush Force steps in man. and says, well, have a guess what? You're not in front of me. I'm going to drop bombs. And Mitch Fush gets uh, one for the top. And this was a great little one off the backside here. As ball kicks up to Bennett. And Bennett, Bennett lets one go down the foot offside side of Chip. He copped one on the ankle as well for his um, oh, they don't hurt as, They certainly don't hurt as much when you uh, score. When you score. And there's a couple more people online now. Nathan Ascot says, Cody Watts. Bet you suck today. Uh, yeah, it was 17 1 against us, so yeah, he let one in. Um, Ricky Smithson said, Good to see Polly has managed to keep his feet so far tonight. Well, some of the players certainly haven't. Indy Williams is watching. Daniel Elst Elston is also watching. And the one and only Mr. In the Crease, my partner, Craig Schicker, also having a watch. Big shout out to you, Schicks. Hope uh, you are uh, enjoying the beverages that are at the Glen Oil Club Champions tonight. You've got to get your priorities right, Shicker. You should have come down here first and then ended up at Glenelg later, mate. And uh, another big shout-out to the Sturt boys. I'm going to do it all night. They're down at the Marion Hotel. Get down to the Marion Hotel. Get around them and uh, buy them beers because uh, why not? 
I thought you said that uh, they're buying everyone beers at turn up. No, because otherwise I'll cop it when I get there. And uh, we're going to see a, a couple of messages from our sponsors. We'll be back very soon. Imagine if you could belong to a safe, welcoming and pet-friendly community in a picturesque location only 30 minutes from the Adelaide CBD, where you are just a stroll away from local shops and facilities and close to Brighton Beach and its seaside attractions. Imagine luxury living and five-star facilities, a place that values your independence and offers a wide variety of lifestyle options. A place for you to call home. Welcome to Living Choice Woodcroft, a fully accredited village in southern Adelaide. Living Choice Woodcroft, where you have the choice of luxury and the luxury of choice. For more information on how you can become part of our community, please call 1800 502 524 or visit livingchoice.com.au. And uh, a big thank you there to our sponsors, Living Choice at livingchoice.com.au and obviously uh, traditional for all your verandas, carports, roofing and guttering knees on tradvc.com.au. And uh, another big shout out too also to uh, the one and only Mr. Peter Greenhouse or Howe or Hole oh. or you know what, something like that. Pete, I hope you're enjoying having a beer tonight too. And he is uh, aussielatsky at .com.au and... Uh, he uh, is still available. He's had to shut down, I believe, his uh, his uh, online. So not his online, his um, local store. Due, he got a new job, oh. so uh, he's only online at the moment. But you can still get in touch with Pete for all your lacrosse needs. And I'm sure he'll be out and about come finals as well. Oh, he will if be. If you need any gear, all over the place. And uh, and I'd like to, you know, a big shout out to Pete. He uh, he's one of those guys who he came out to stir. And uh, I think he'll win our uh, leading goal scorer this year. Wow. So, good. you know, and uh, and has been really good for the uh, young guys down there leading that uh, offence. But uh, right now we have a game on our hands as the last few minutes of, of the uh, halftime heroes, the young kids out there. Oh, we should have been out there, Lip. They're getting taller, aren't they? Yeah, At quarter time, they were all my height. Now they're all about a foot taller. Yeah, they're even taller than me. What's it going to be like at the end of the game? Oh. We'll just have Zach Clothier out there. Oh, no, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll probably have the um, half, t the uh, full-time um, guys from the bar up okay. the top. Yeah, they're they're always interesting to see after a few, a few uh, beverages, having a few shots. Yeah. Wyatt Yales. So a five-four game here, and uh, what have you liked about the first half so far, Lip? Um, just the actual ball movement by both teams. You know, both teams have been willing to play out really, really wide, uh, very wide, and I don't think I've actually seen Woodville play so wide either. You know, there's a couple of times there I thought they were going on field two, you know, but, you know, they've just opened it up and, you know, like you said, you've got to be careful with the long passes because if they come out of your stick wrong or it hooks a little bit. Well, they've certainly you know. taken the slides away, haven't they, yes. by being out that wide? Mm. Or they've got to come from a long, long way, long way away. And, you know, no if no defender's going to chase you out that far. No. You know, and if you, if you do, well... You, it's um, good night because well, if you get beaten, through, you're in trouble. There's definite slide yeah. coming, and that opens up. So, but, the, but they've both moved the ball well. They've yeah. both moved the ball well. There's been some great cuts, some great shot goals, you know. And there's been some that have, you know, haven't missed the goals by that much as well. But you know, the, the game itself is. Oh, I think it's going to come down face off. Well, I like the match up in the face at the moment. Both both uh, Jackson Stock and, and Woody from yep. Brighton against. Uh, Jared and uh, Jesse Jess. Wood. And I JJ think, and I think Brighton got on top later in those face offs. But it'll be an interesting contest because that's going to be huge to where the rest of the game goes in that uh, in that face off. And I tell you, I've liked Lewis King's uh, ground balls and I've loved Mitch Lu Mitch uh, Fuss's off, uh, off the wing as well. Yeah. His work ethic. Um, and both keepers uh, 
have been uh, bitten a little, yep. but they've also had some good saves. Good some saves. Good stuff. Yeah, so good. Uh, they're they've probably on par at the moment, the yep. two keepers. And Matty Fuss hasn't thrown any bombs yet. But um, give but, him time. But give him time as we see yeah. uh, the teams just breaking towards their respective ends. Well, Brighton breaking. You've got Jack Woodford who's going to line up in the uh, centre. And he's got Dougie Brooks on the other side and Matty Fuss lining up uh, closest to us. So Tom, it's interesting because Tom Freeman hasn't been on very much at all. Oh, I think they're probably just... Man up. It. I think they're just using him he as a man up tonight. I think they are yeah. tonight. And he seems to be coming in. And there hasn't been too many mans up. No. Or man ups at the moment. Uh, Trev Poland is also watching. Big shout out to you, Trev. Great to see you today, mate. And Nathan Ascot replying to Nathan Ascot. He's even replying to himself on the uh, live stream. He says, uh, ruined the no-no, let the one goal in. Well, yeah, Cody did. So no clean <laughs> sheet for him. We had the uh, we had the nice clean piece of paper and we scribbled crayon all over it today. <laughs> Once. So ball down in the centre. Winning against Woodford. And uh, ball to be won. Oh, oh Jesse. He, he normally does a great, good work there from, uh, oh, plenty of pressure being shown at the start of the first half. Great pick up there from uh, Dougie Brooks. They're off to the races a little here, but good work getting back there. Oh, oh Shane looks oh. up. Here's the fuss. Oh, oh, good save there from Potter. And it's coming back the other way as we see Abbott on the sprint. It must be downhill. With those little legs. Looks, oh, he oh. had open down the bottom. What? what was Shane thinking? Wow. Had the open man on the bottom corner. This could hurt. And uh, oh. he want that one back again, uh, Abbott. I don't think that's what he was trying to do. He was looking for Costello. Yeah, <laughs> well, there was certainly some comedy about that one. Although uh, I don't think Shane will be laughing too much at the moment. But yeah, they uh, certainly had an opportunity there that they let go. So Brighton back with a, uh, another opportunity and Fuss trying that bounce shot again like he had last week, but just didn't have as much power behind it. Didn't have the zing. Definitely not like I had on the way up here, the zinger burger. And I'm sure I'm sure Jaden Penner will be maybe telling Shane all about that too because oh, he was... Hold. Oh, Oh, nothing. No. As Ballish picks the ball up, good oh. uh, takeaway. Oh, is it? here's a race. Oh, there's no... Oh, let him play. That's what we love. Oh, oh, there's a wrap check. Wrap round. Yeah. That one might go, and that That's might a hold, that'll actually oh, might oh. be a hold. No, slash. He had the hand on the back, so that could be a hold. Slash. No, it's going to get a slash. And that, uh, for the viewers out there that don't uh, watch a lot of lacrosse, if you actually put your hand on the back of the man while you're actually going to check, that will be called a hold every day of the week. So we'll see Brighton's man up again here. Free, mate. On, yep. Yep, so Fremo's come on for the uh, man, up. man ups and he's liking that left hand corner. So let's have a look what Brighton are doing. They're in a 1 3 2. Rotation from the top. There's just a uh, over rotation. Fuss really didn't really get picked up by anyone. Steps down the bottom, kicks it over the other side, steps inside to Woodford. Woodford lines, oh. and that is going to be a green ball oh. as Potter gets the back up there. But, uh, and everyone arguing with it, but. I thought the same. I thought Potter was on the on the uh, line, and I think uh, Leeming actually um, rolled out as we see Don Lyons pick the ball up, kicks it up to Abbott. Now, there's twice tonight the Abbott stick didn't look like it's throwing that well. So I wonder because it looked like those there was one well, down the last, other end and it, that one there it just didn't come out. Really it looked good. like it stuck in the stick. Yeah. Well, that might be something to keep hold of if the game gets any closer. I know some coaches don't like calling them, but you're yeah, allowed you a free one. You wouldn't think uh, I wouldn't a think referee would have it. And Winnan just pops that one up the stick side. You high. wouldn't imagine a referee would have an illegal stick. No. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Fuss. Brings it uh, down. Rosenthal Fuss. back to Fuss. Oh, oh, just missed the handle. But that was good little play there by Brighton. Good opportunity. Send us a shout out live on LSA TV. If you're watching on the Facebook, as finals are fast approaching. And the games today, Lip, uh, as I said, stirred against Glenelg. I think it was a 17-18-1 game down there. And uh, 
the Burnside game today. How'd that one go? Uh, Burnside uh, beat North Adelaide 10-4. Uh, 10-4. Yeah. So Burnside progressing uh, on to the finals. As we speak, they'll, they'll potentially, at this stage, given that uh, the Warriors need a uh, fair score advantage here, will match up against Woodville next, next week, week in yep. the semis. And we'll see the Brighton Glenelg uh, juggernaut go on again. And if the game's anything like last uh, Saturday night, we're looking forward to the first round of the uh, finals, Finals, both in men's and women's. Yeah, the uh, Women's State League finals. One They're and two, be and three and four at Glenelg next at, Friday night. Next Friday night. And I believe yeah. we're bringing them live to you on LSA TV as we will try and bring all the finals action to you. And we will actually try when we can too to maybe get some of the Div 1 games or maybe an under-17 game or under-18 women's game as well. Um, because we know that uh, the sport just doesn't stop with these state league guys. So hopefully come to the finals, we'll be able to bring you a load. And of, then the... Uh, uh, oh, men's. good there from Pridham. Just Met. got in the way of Jesse, and that's a turnover. Men's finals at East Torrens next Saturday. Yeah, and what are the fields looking like out at uh, East Torrens at the moment? Gilly. Yeah, pretty decent. Uh, field one's always... A little bit worse to wear around this time of the year, but with only half the season, it's been, you know, it's got a bit better looked after this winter. So. And your uh, you, you boys, uh, while we've got you on, finish uh, top of the Div 1. You must be pleased with that. Yeah, it's, it's not bad to get a few wins under the board for a season. So, so you'll be looking forward to uh, a first premiership? Potentially. We'll, we'll see what happens. See though. what happens? <laughs> get might, get Brenny Langstra shooting lefties like he was today? We might need to work on our... Uh, first quarter or two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's a way you come home, Gil. Been some slow starts lately, so oh. need to get on top of that. Bang! Oh. J.K. Rosenthal's come to play tonight. Another laser. He has, and we look forward to uh, seeing some of that down at uh, the East Torrens Paynham Lacrosse Club next week, as we see on the Living Choice, and K-Man just letting him get top side and pops that one offside stick of uh, Link. Links. Yep. And uh, that's Jakey's second for the night. And then the uh, the rest of the women's finals are at Woodville Oval, I think, next that day as well. Yep. So you've got all the uh, other women's, women's finals, finals down at uh, down at Woodville, Woodville, and and then they all sort of come back together. No, oh, no, no, sorry. They come into the prelims, prelims. at Woodville. Woodville. Yep. And then uh, we've got the grand finals Woodville. down here at the uh, Bomberdrome. Bomberdrome. Two point oh, and a good face off to be one out here. Mitch Force, look at him go. Push. And the ball will go it's gold. And Mitch Fuss did a great job. But Jackson Stock really fighting hard there against uh, Jared Hines. He's, uh, just comes on the back. Did not. Oh, looks oh, inside look. a row. No one's come to him. Oh. Just didn't have any power on the shot. But that could have been ugly for uh, the Warriors. And bang! There he goes. Have some of that, Nat Rowe says. Who oh. was that to, Jakey Rosenthal? And uh, was that a shot? I don't know whether that was a shot. Well, there was no one down there. There was a yellow cone down there. Maybe he saw the yellow cone and thought, if I throw it to the yellow. I gathered that was because Link was out the cage. I reckon he was going for a shot. Well, he's missed that by, uh, yeah, let's just hope he doesn't throw a, a handful cage. of weed at a barn, mate. A cage. Yeah. <laughs> because there was no Brighton player to throw it to. Yeah, it and the no. only thing I could think, because like you said, Lincoln was out of the cage, I think he shot. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So Potter brings the ball up. Woodville just setting up their uh, clear, and we've got uh, Link. He Link wants to run this. He'll want to run this, and Jakey will get to that. So he's going to have to, and Link doesn't mind having a shot here and there, but he's going to be put under pressure. Can he go coast to coast? Oh, throws it away. And uh, he's going to have to get all the way back up the field is Link. So... Gets it down there, throws it at the feet, and back he goes. And he might have, he might have copped a, a little bit of a spray on the way back from some of the Brighton boys. Uh, Alan Lim was getting in his way there. Wouldn't let him get back into the goals too quick. And oh, Polly, and like po look at here. Look, look at, at this. that. Now, there is the finest set of legs you'll ever see. set of legs <laughs> on a referee you will ever see. And look at him go backwards. He's actually quicker going backwards than he is forward. Oh. We're going to have to... Oh, oh. there's a uh, big uh, hack from Abbott. And they've oh, gone sorry. offside here, so... He's just got to uh, get back. And Bogger just hasn't seen that at all. <laughs> hey, mate, you know <laughs> someone. I think Shane Abbott knows someone. Because <laughs> that was the biggest offside I've ever seen. 
But Bog looking the other way. Uh, Kai Williams is doing a bit of razzle-dazzle with one hand. He wants to step inside, oh. gets inside, and oh, bang! Ding. Tink. There's a cookie jar. Tink. Tink. Just about took the lid off it. Would have smashed it, I reckon. I reckon that one needs a new cookie jar as that one hits the top bar. And Brighton uh, still 6-4 on the Living Choice uh, scoreboard. Okay, oh, make that 7-4 seven, seven, as Arlen just puts his number into the uh, fold. And Arlen getting his second of the night. And we're out to a... There's a replay here. Little... Oh, just, oh, just flat-footed. Bang. Flat-footed. And got beaten up top side and not much you can do. There's no slide coming the other way. And out to a 7-4 lead here. So for my my uh, score to come in, Lip, Brighton can't score for the rest of the game. And Woodville need three. Yeah. Ah, uh, stranger things have happened. True. As uh, Jack Woodford takes it out of the centre. He wants to upset my uh, bit of uh, score. Apple and it just bounces off Fuss Ooh. back to Woodford. Woodford lines up. Fires that one right, and no dr trouble for the Bombers as that one ends up back in a Bomber stick with the first on. Lim likes what he sees. He's got Rosenthal on the bottom corner as both of those defenders slid up off him. Mm. You know, don't want to do that too often. And oh, Dougie Brooks with the ball at X. So ball down, Rosenthal. Oh. Oh. Again, just missed the handle slightly, but Brighton with the opportunity oh, here through Leeming. That's a, that's a <laughs> slash if you've <laughs> ever seen one. As the flag height there, look at that. That's come there out of go. the dark Bang. into the thing. Oh. Great save there from Potter. Did you see the flag height there from Bogger's flag? flag. That has gone up top of the trees. 25 that, metres. Gillies put it at 25, 25 metres. metres. Wow. Wow. Bogger with huge flag height there. So Just Kipper, Kipper will be watching this. He's going to be out to um, beat that now. He is, and Brighton back into their man up now. But a great save there from Potter. That had some heat on it too. Bit of zing. 7-4 is the score. A man up. We've got uh, Fuss out there. Freeman not out there for this one. He's got Leeming, got Williams. Fuss, that little rotation that happens, little mirror. Woodford steps down, pop, bang. Great oh. save again from Potter. He's keeping it in. Ball to be won here. Lynn just gets whacked up. And they're, they're a man up opportunity. Fuss, he says, keep driving. Steps up to Williams. William pops off the top. Not there. Fuss, and that one's coming out our way, Lip. We may even get it. No. Nah, just died in the grass. That wouldn't have happened at Sturt. That would have been uh, about out. 10 would miles, 10 meters long. Oh, oh, Woody was looking to shoot that. Before he had it. <laughs> Before it was in the stick. Right. But they've still got uh, under pressure. Kicks oh. it to Woodford. Woodford steps, oh. looks, and this could work. As we Leeming. see Leeming, bang. bang. There's his hat trick. And Tyler Leeming gets a lucky one off the backside where the ball's just uh, flowed through. And we see here the on replay. the Living Choice Instant Replay, that wasn't meant for him. Little knockdown. But sometimes... <laughs> That's all he needs. Right place, right time. And we're out to an 8-4 game here, and they've just doubled the lead in the third quarter. As a timeout has been called here, I believe, uh, by, by the Woodville, Woodville Warriors. Warriors. Yep. So Leeming getting on the board with three. And I might just get to some shout-outs if I can while I'm here. Uh, obviously, Greg Mollison's watching. Uh, Mitchell Speck's watching. Chris Evans says, g'day, Tony. Well, and Lippy. He doesn't say that, but I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> uh, Nick Clothier is still watching. Drew Cooper, bagger. G'day, bagger. mate. Matty Caparosso, the one and only Australian Sharks head coach. Mr. Glenn Meredith is also watching. Big shout out to you, Rub. And Emily Jane's watching. Phil McConnell is watching. And the Daniel Robertson is watching from North Adelaide. Yep. We uh, hope you uh, had a good game today, Robbo. And Tyson Congdon is also watching. He's probably out here somewhere, I reckon, Tyson. Um, Robbo had another consistent game as Robbo does in the cage. For the amount of shots he has and he saves, he does a great job in the cage, Robbo. He did. As I said against it the week before, he had about 17 saves and really did uh, uh, was the difference, to be honest, yeah. between the two sides. And Noah Haskett is also watching. Oh, another and, scrub. Uh, Jai Raymond says the family watching at home. That's what we like to see. And Drewy Cooper gives us some, uh, a bit of love there, Lip. Good on you, bagger. 
Hey, it was good to catch up with you the other day too, Bagger. And uh, as I said, good to hear that uh, Coop doing all right, apart from broken fingers Fingers, and whatever he does. uh, But you'll get that playing footy. So, we, you know, maybe Coop's watching as well. So ball back in the centre here. We've got an 8-4 game on the Living Choice scoreboard. Hines against Stocky, and Stocky again just uh, doing a great job. He's under pressure here, though, as uh, ball... Great job there from Jackson Stock. As I said, he's probably one of my most improved this year yeah, good with through the, the league. Of the year. Well, I don't know how many Jackson played last year, but he certainly would be putting his hand up for it if he hasn't played more than seven, seven games. Seven games, yeah. And uh, at the moment, while there are a couple of other guys floating around who have had sort of breakout seasons, those young guys, I think some of those guys might have played uh, more than the seven. But Jackson Stock certainly would be putting his hand up for that. I don't know if he would have played seven last year. What I know of, anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure. But he's certainly, put uh, it this way, the games that he's played this year compared to uh, the ones he did last year. Or even against Glenelg last week, he was pretty good in the place. Yeah, he was very good. Yeah. And we see here, talk about very good, Arlen Lim just trying Ooh. the old uh, Paul Marshall uh, question mark. Yeah, the old fish hook. So ball down the back here to Leeming. He's already got three. As we see, uh, Arlen Lim just working off ball. Love it in the middle. And here's the, there's the dancing duo. I think they both need to put that on their uh, on their Facebook sites, that one that uh, Gilly cut Oi. before for yeah. that dancing uh, dancing move because I don't think either of them will be on Dancing with the Stars. No, that, um, they could get on, um, what is it? Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> <laughs> is that where you were going? <laughs> you just can play the days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, <laughs> as I said, Fuss, Lim, and Lim... I don't think he'll mind the shorty match up here. As Kai Williams. The stall it was on. So the stall call was on. And now it's off. That was a quick stall call. No. Well, it got me because I didn't see it. <laughs> we're, maybe we're talking too much here. <laughs> well, okay, isn't that so what we're meant to be doing? Dwayne Edwards is online. And Cam Adams says Jackson didn't play at all last year. So, we? well, there you, go. you know what? <laughs> Again, if he's uh, one of those ones, as I said, there have been a couple of outstanding young players who have uh, who've stepped up in a state league this year. And we're going to have an illegal pick there by the look of it, or interference. And Jared Hines picks it up. So Woodville will want to get one on the board coming back the other way here as uh, Leeming chases him all the way out. But they certainly need to get some uh, scoreboard pressure on. And uh, tell us uh, if you're online watching live and free on LSA TV. Give us a shout out to uh, who you think will be the uh, Memorial Medalist this year and or uh, the Rookie of the Year from uh, what you've seen around. Send us a shout out. We'd love to uh, hear from you on the Facebook. As we see Jesse winning, just sizing up Byron Pridham. And it doesn't matter how big they are, does it? As Pridham looks inside, looks over. Oh, Wood look. just... Uh, I don't know that the angle was quite there for Dylan on the right hand, but he threw a bomb earlier. Um, I think he was aiming for the practice goal. I thought he was trying to give it back to Jesse. <laughs> uh, but Jesse against Pridham again. Working, working again. Oh, oh. The f- he just fired. From the, nearly the restraining line? Yeah, I don't know that that was the... Uh, oh, well, there you go. That's why he fired it from the restraining line. So, Jess... Take it all back, mate. That was, uh, you obviously knew there was limited time in that quarter, as we did. Jeez, I could, uh, I'm back on the money again this week again, mate. You uh, are. Ten five. Eight four. My seven all's out the window with yeah. the. Jeez, I could be racking in the money. Oh, but I bet, bet betting responsibly, though. Obviously, yeah. always gamble yeah. responsibly. And uh, a couple of shout outs. There's obviously guys over in Victoria watching, and obviously WA. So, big shout out to our uh, sister states, states and obviously uh, ACT and uh, New South Wales, Queensland. Also, get on board for the live stream shows. Um, so, big shout out to all our lacrosse brothers and sisters out there in the world. And uh, even young kids are going down on the field over here. The grass monsters are out are. and about at Brighton lacrosse tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone's slipping over. And uh, we're going to go to some replays here. And we see the first here. But tw- and this Jakey is the uh, little one from Rosenthal just twist. Ding, that was his bang. second second of the night. And uh, just uh, basically it was very similar to the first one this he had one, down, yeah. the other, down the other end. 
And this is Arnold Lim. He just beats his man, gets around and uh, pops Too this easy. one up high. And Link, uh, not much Link can do with that one as uh, the defender just puts absolutely no pressure on. And then this is the one that just... Tyler Lemming, thank you very much. Comes just in, he in says, if I'm going to get a hat trick, Bang. I'm going to get him like that because no one's out the back there. And he gets three, and I might just go through the goal scorers here for the game so far. Uh, for Brighton, we've got uh, Mitch Fuss with a, with a cracker in the second. He's got one. Tyson Leeming, he, Tyler Leeming, sorry. Uh, he's got one in each quarter, so he's got three. Arlen Lim's with two, and Jakey Rosenthal with two. And on the uh, Warriors' side, we've got Dylan Wood with a cracker. And we had Jared Hines. Ballas with one. And obviously, Kane Bennett also with one. And that is an 8-4 game, the way of the Brighton Bombers. Did Woodville didn't score that quarter. Woodville were scoreless in that quarter. So it was a 3-1, 3-0 quarter. So Brighton with, the, with what they will consider to be a fairly comfortable lead here in the uh, coming towards the last quarter. So they will match up against uh, the Glenelg Seahawks. They next will week. next week. In the down first at semi-final at East Torrens. East Torrens. And we'll see Woodville come up against the Bears. Unless there's something dramatic happens in the last uh, 15 minutes. And uh, I just can't see uh, Woodville. What are they going to win by lip? Uh, 10? 10. Okay, yeah, I can't see them There's putting 14, uh, 14 goals. goals on in the last... Uh, they need a goal a goal a minute, and I just don't think they have the uh, enough time. Jeez, I'd love to see it. <laughs> hey, it'd be interesting <laughs> lacrosse, and it'd yeah, certainly get us right. up and about. So, uh, ball down the back here as Abbott has the ball. And uh, that one hits the deck, but great from Wood, picks the ball up. Wood trying to push inside here, and Pridham steps up, oh. just misses the handle. But Winnan has the ball, and he will uh, no damage done there for the Warriors. And uh, ball is back up to Winnan up the top. And he could just about shoot from there, Jess, too. Don't tell him that. He doesn't need, all, <laughs> he doesn't need people telling him. <laughs> Oh, and um, we have the ball up the top. Dom Kilderry says, love hearing the scores from today across the association. People send you your scores in. Uh, he said uh, the Div 2 Brighton versus North Adelaide was 16-2. So uh, thanks, Dom, for that. He said, any other clubs? Get them online and we'll try and get them out. Jake Rea is also watching. And Daniel Biglin is also watching as well. Big A. As we get uh, Jared Hine looking to go, Big O, on uh, oh. Jack Woodford steps inside and put him under immense pressure. Jaden Pennant. And it's Penner. going to be a Brighton ball. And that should be, oh. no, there's going to be a Woodville ball. Okay, that was a fair foot race out the outer side there, but uh, Dylan Wood beating Matt Fuss. Oh, the old. Oh. oh, and that was a shot. And that is going to be a Woodville ball also. As again, Woodville getting the first on. Prudham thought it was an actual turnover. He started going. He started down. going. He yeah. was looking for his goal scoring uh, opportunity. So, and they're saying to Jesse to get in. I don't think Jesse was real happy with wanting to get in. He was quite happy on the outside, I reckon. It was um, Prudham locking off on Jesse by the look of it. Yeah, but that won't stop Jess. I mean, nah. we've seen we've seen his box uh, movement. And we Kane see Bennett. there, Bennett just runs into Brooks. Great defense there from Brooks. Keeps on it. There's a lot of people watching what uh, Bennett's doing at the moment as this game comes into the fourth quarter. And ball down the back there to uh, Dylan Wood. Dylan Wood likes uh, what he sees with Harry Edwards. And big slash. And that is going to be in the crease. And it's off to the Brighton Bombers. And they're going to get advantage here. And the Bombers will uh, bring it out with Brooks. And Bennett. Bennett's got some wheels on him, though. So ball kicked inside. Ooh. If they move the ball, there's an opportunity here. There's a two-on-one the outer side there. Rosenthal steps. Oh. Good save from Potter. Oh, just throws that one in the middle. Ground ball to be one here from uh, the two teams. Still a ground ball to be one. That could have been a head-on push. Let them play, they say. Oh. Good pressure there from Lynn. Ground ball to be one. Got to go through the line. Hangs it in. Kicks it out to Jess. And Jess should take this one out. Great pass. Oh. oh, Bennett. He actually made that look like a bad pass then. That actually looked pretty much on the money, money. from Jess. But 
as Gilly says, pretty long. Gilly would have hit that man. <laughs> as the ball comes <laughs> back into play. And uh, Jake Rea says, uh, Div 2, Adelaide Uni, 10, Sturt 12. So Sturt getting a win today. Whee. Good work to the uh, double, double Blues. blues. And uh, Jake, thanks for that. Fremo back on, I'll see. Fremo. Just uh, getting some game time, getting a bit of touch before the finals start. Steps down. He's still got silky skills, has uh, Tommy Thomas. Freeman. And Jesse, he's played too much uh, box, high level box to uh, get beaten like that. And I reckon, I reckon Matty, Matty Fuss wouldn't mind uh, having Zach Clothier here. But I think it's going to go up to Freeman. Rolling. Kicks up to Freeman. Freeman steps down. And they're setting up Fuss for a drive at the top here. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kicks the ball down the back. Leaming. He's already got three. Oh. And there's four. And oh. uh, that was just a little <laughs> bit too easy, uh, as we see here on the... Uh, Living Choice instant replay. Lip, talk us through this one. Just uh, as again, so strong off that corner. Dominic Lyons with no body on him at all. And even the slide that came didn't even put a body on him. Just tried to chase his sticker. Tyler Lemming's too good of a player to worry about that. And That's there it is. Out fourth. to a 9-4 here. Ball to be one in the middle and stock again, eating it up out of the middle against the quality Face-off player, and there's a flat. Oh, he's just um, just giving him a little brush of. Wind. I'm just telling him I'm yeah. still here. I'm still here, and Leeming with uh, his fourth of the game. He's got one in every quarter. And, oh, oh, that could be a uh, interference call. As it almost looked like he got tripped up there. And uh, I love. Oh. You know what? I've actually loved the uh, guys in black and white tonight. Letting this game go as it should be. Sometimes it's hard and tough and, uh, you know, not picking out that uh, nitty-picky sort of stuff. It was great um, work there by the young uh, Brighton <laughs> defender, Long Polar. Did a great job down there, didn't he, yeah. Higo? Kept on him. Made him turn over the ball and they got the ball back, Brighton. So Brighton get another opportunity here. Mango will be loving that as a, a Brighton coach from the youngster. And uh, William Pike is... Are you watching? Yvette Usher is also watching. And ball down the back here. And uh, kicks the ball down. Looks inside. Oh, oh that's almost a hold. <laughs> but I love it. Put the whistle away. It's what we like. Put the whistle away. Love, love it, love it, love it. Two night games in a row. The, the, hardly any penalties thrown. Yeah. Hey, bring that's that on. Great. Bring yeah. that on. Finals. We love, we love that lip, don't we? Yep. Rubbins racing. So ball back down the... Now, Lippy, living choice player of the game. Wow. Where's your thought process? I know my, where my thought process my, is. It's been thought, one every quarter. My thought process is Tyler Lemming for a, a Monty. Yep. I'd agree. And, uh, and not far. Young. Oh, well, you know what? Face off. I'm going well. I'm, I'm, That's where I was about to say. I think Jackson Stock... Oh, oh. Just uh, Brighton looking to uh, feed a little hole in the crease there. Oh, look. Good from Lewis King. And he will he will go all the way given the opportunity. And he won't mind having a shot on uh, Clinton Barker. But uh, that one coming from a long way up and going a long way wide. But you yeah. don't mind seeing that? Nah. Well, any long pole that gets past the restraining line, you know he's going to go to the cooker. So ball down the back here with uh, Shane Abbott. And he's just walked past... Uh, Doug Shinnick and gone Reese. straight into the crease. <laughs> and uh, he's getting no love from his uh, counterpart. So, ball kicked out here to Dougie. Oh, Ooh. there's uh, some love from uh, Jaden Penner. But it's the second and third efforts that are required. You can give the first one away like that. Chippy, under pressure. He won't want to be going under any more pressure than he needs. And ball down the back here with uh, Brian Pridham. And Kai Williams just sneaking up, and Jesse's giving him a couple of metres. As the ball is uh, coming up here through Pridham, Tommy Freeman, and they're going to have to watch the offside here. Oh, no, Pridham pulls up. Good work from Nat Rowe. Cool. Certainly uh, put himself back into the team after playing a 
be a little bit of reserves this year. And Jake Rea says, uh, refs can't see the penalties because of the lights. Well, I don't think that's the case down here. <laughs> the lights are pretty good down at uh, the Bromodrome. But Jake... Good to see you online and give us some uh, some material, mate. And there's 61 uh, viewers on the Facebook at the moment. So uh, as this game uh, comes down to the Two last uh, half of the last quarter and steps around. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Did Blink get a piece of that? Oh, nice. Strip. Oh, oh, under pressure is Williams. And uh, Jesse just says, oh. get out of here. And uh, you know what? Now Jesse wants to build something here as we see uh, our sponsors on, on board here for all your verandas, carports, roofing and guttering need on tradvc.com.au. Jess pops it down to Penner. Penner pops it over the top, but a flag has been thrown. And uh, Mike to... Uh, Slash on Kai Williams. So, and Kai was probably retaliating for the bit of... A uh, little bit of love that was showing yeah. down uh, in the back corner here. And I don't think there's going to be too much uh, <laughs> that's going to go from there. So, man up here for the Warriors. Uh, they, they won't want to give this away. Like, I know it's 9-4, but get a couple of late ones on the board and just give oh, a little bit of... Turnover. But Shane Abbott just uh, drops the ball down the back. And, and goes uh, in the circle. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm kind of thinking that Shane would like to have this uh, game back tonight. Hasn't been the finest of his. Steps up, Lynn just razzle dazzle. Step, oh, oh pops over the top, pass. uh, passes. That might have been in the crease, but uh, got away with it. And Leeming, just you know what? Probably just uh, signing that uh, living choice player of the game. He was just in the right spot, wasn't he? Just holding it down, just um, waiting. He knew he knew exactly where Arlen was going to throw that ball. <laughs> and they're going to have to push out. And Tyler says, "Well, I don't have to do anything. So what we'll do is we'll send a couple of longs out." And uh, they're going to have to work harder than that if they're going to uh, create the uh, two-on-one here. And there's one on the box coming in for that penalty now. And uh, that is Kai Williams. Comes back on the field. No damage done on the scoreboard. And Brighton will look at uh, getting another one on board here before oh, the uh, end of the night. That That's might a be a moving pick. pick. A big moving pick. From Arlen. Really? So Arlen uh, puts his head up in the air, but I don't think he can be too upset nah. with that one. And K-Man with the ball. So, uh, and K-Man, good to see him back and, uh, and fully fit after uh, that uh, collarbone injury in the box season. As we see Matty Fuss, he's going, he's going half uh, engine at the moment. And he's still got through one, two, three Woodville guys. And, oh, he, right. <laughs> he's making him work, isn't he? Jakey Rosenthal, good enough for that one. Bit of air Rosenthal then. White men can jump. Yeah. Who, who said they can't? And um, the uh, Bombers just... And this is where Jakey likes to roll that oh. one around. Gets another shot away. Likes that little move, doesn't he? Shooting from the hip. Bang. And there we go. And then he gets his Rosenthal. third. Rosenthal. That is three for Rosenthal. He's had a good game tonight too, Jakey. Yeah. He's, been a, he's been pivotal also in uh, bringing other people into the play. As we see the replay, just little backdoor cut. Oh, Bang. a good quick stick. That, quick stick's gone out of the game a bit. Oh, I love I love the quick stick lip. Well, I need one more goal here by Woodville. So we're at 10-4. And uh, Dom Kildare also says, let the Leds play. Free-flowing physical games are awesome. We'd agree with that, Dom, in a heartbeat. Greg Bollison says, just wait until you see the new lights at Footscray. Ten light poles, the whole ground is completely lit up. Foot is great, eh? And, uh, yeah, we'll see uh, Jack Rosenthal... Oh. Just uh, trying to light up uh, Lincoln again. And that one's uh, hit the light post, I reckon, and come back. Dean. Scotty Thane is watching. And uh, Russell John Crofts says any game in Victoria will be good to see. Yeah, look, we feel for our Victorian brothers and sisters over there. Oliver Brown is watching. And uh, Cody Rosenthal said, I talk that kid everything he knows. <laughs> if only that was the case, Code. <laughs> but, uh, you know, good to see you online watching. As leaving, just uh, picks up the ball, kicks it down. And uh, this game is just uh, eking out to the final siren at the moment. Brighton 
Looking at the rotation. Has Woodford. Woodford just bodies back in. Kicks it down to uh, Leeming. Leeming looking for a cutter. He's got Freeman up the top with K-Man on him. Ball kicks up the top. Drive. Good double. K-Man with a huge uh, over-the-head check there. Takes that away. And Lincoln looks for the outlet. Hits Lewis King. And Lewis King's been good uh, on a losing side tonight too. Just needs someone to present to him. Because the long stick having to do all that work. And flicks it up and over. And we're going to have a time out here, I reckon. For Woodville. Woodville. So that's an interesting call with uh, probably less than two minutes in the game. Oh, to set a up good, a play. Or a good call. Because, you know, one more goal. And I didn't say it was wrong. I'm I just said the, it was interesting. I'm on the money. And you know what else is interesting? <laughs> living, living choice. choice. Oh, are they interesting? It's the every, choice. every time I've been down there, it's been interesting. It's a choice you want to take. It is. And you can get in touch with Living Choice on livingchoice.com.au. 1-800-502-524. And uh, Living Choice player of the match. Oh, look, I know Leeming. He's got four. And I know he's done a great power of work down and he's been in the right position. I'm a big rapper, Jackson Stock, tonight. And I know, I don't think he's lost one. No. And he's only young. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's, done, I'm, I'm trying to promote the youth a done, little no, here too. He's done, he's done well. And I, I, you know, it would be really interesting to have a chat with the young man. Well, let's all... But we'll, I'm, 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 to, I'm tossed up here because we'll I think Leeming's done a great job too. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I'm with you, but I just think we'll, we'll, we'll get the young kid in. Yeah. See what he's got to say. Why not? I, I don't have an issue with that because, like you said, I don't think he's lost a face off. I don't think. Well, he's I lost don't think he has. No, and look that that little fast he had there uh, earlier. And the, part, and the, the assist Lynn. to Alan. Yeah, Lynn, you, you know? know that's as good as that's as good as uh, two goals for me that's from a, a face off guy. Quality, yes. All right, Lip. We made a decision. Yeah. Young Jackson Stock, Stock will be yep. our living choice player of the game, and we'll try and get him over and have a bit of a chat to Young Jackson. I'm sure he will be stoked to be on LSA TV. And he's certainly doing oh, a yeah, great Sean job of his Falepa. path. And, oh. and that's going to be in the crease. Great work by another young one, though. Uh, again, and he's given Polly a heap, too. Hey? <laughs> That'd be unlike the flip. No, that was Shane, actually. Shane gave him yeah. a bit. Yeah. So, ball down at the back here. There must be limited time with, with Woodville taking that uh, time out. Just kicks it here to Matty. Uh, Mitch Fuss, sorry. Who kicks it down the back. Looks oh, into Woodford. Oh, oh, good save there from Potter. That one oh, came Mitch from Fuss. around the back of the goal. <laughs> and uh, Lincoln Potter with the ball. Is Jesse winning? Has he got an opportunity to get one? Must be real limited time left in this game. And uh, he just fires and hits the bar. And winning <coughs> after the siren. And there we go. Brighton 10-4 lip. You're one out again. Oh, well. Might as well be 100 out. Yeah, you get that though, don't you? Yeah. I mean, I can't give it to you because no. you're one out. There's no winning with a chicken dinner. No winning with a chicken dinner's here. <laughs> you know, if you go to the Royal Show, which we don't have, and you don't knock one of those cans down, you don't win. Nah. So, um, yeah. So, a really interesting game though, Lip. Yeah. So, it's, it's, it's around the mark. Ten goals in these shortened games is around the mark. You, and, you know, any ten or over, you're bound to win a game of lacrosse. Absolutely. And... Uh, might. Uh, so, yeah, Jackson Stock will be our uh, number 22 two. for Brighton. Brighton. Um, and we'll get him over here to have a, have a chat with young Jackson. Um, Kenny O'Reilly's also watching. And uh, Rebecca Bedford says, good on you, Jacko Stock. Well, we'll get him over in a minute for the fans. But uh, might go through the goal scorers here uh, for the game. And... Um, We've got for uh, Brighton Lip. I oh, might you get you to go through them. Okay. So for Brighton, we got uh, Tyler Lemming with four, one in each quarter, and had a had a great, great game. game. Tyler, yeah. sorry for the living choice, but uh, you're right up there. Jake um, Twinkle Toes Rosenthal with um, three, and and a great pirouette uh, oh, fall yeah. with K Man and Unison. Yeah, we that might get on the ESPN Player of the oh, um, Day. I, I hope reckon. so. We'll send it there. Yeah. Um, Alan Lim with two and uh, Mitch Fuss with one. Yeah, the bomb from uh, Fussy. Uh, for Woodville, we had um, Dylan Wood with a laser with yeah. one. Jared Hines with one. Um, Balashat with one. And Kane Bennett with one. And so Woodville went two quarters with no score. Well, that's not going to win your finals lacrosse. No. So they're going to they, But they get an opportunity to uh, go back, tighten it up. They're 
pretty tight group. You can see them out there at the moment in a big uh, in a big huddle, and the Brighton boys just waiting for them to line up. And we will get uh, Jackson Stock over here as soon as the boys uh, shake hands, have a have a chat with Jacko. Uh, we have Baggers on. He says, "Great call, gentlemen." Will we thank you, Bagger? We'll see you out at uh, East Torrens next week, Bagger. Yep, and Jacob Dunn just uh, tuned in right at the end to uh, obviously see the interview with Jackson Stock. Yep, and uh, be playing in a final next week. He too, will. Jacob Dunn. He will. Yes. Maybe just joined in to see Gilly. Yeah, hey? probably. Just wanted to hear Gilly have a chat. And a, and a huge thank you uh, to Christian, who uh, <laughs> always does a fantastic. Lights go out here almost. And just one thing, he didn't trip over the courts tonight. Oh, I was just starting to wonder. I looked up at him and said uh, how good a job Christian had done, and I thought maybe he stepped on the light cord. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he can't find it up in the ute. And a uh, huge shout-out <laughs> also, huge shout out also to, uh, to uh, Scotty Gill, who has, uh, who's done a great job as we get over here. And uh, Lippy, are you going to get in here? We're going out there, Jacko. Sorry, we'll get out here. I'll get these cans off. Yeah. No, here we go. Look at this, big time. Coming to the spotlight as they just turned the lights off on us, mate. Yeah. Did they Did they realise that I was going to get on the camera? Yeah. <laughs> they seem to have it dimmed a bit. Yeah. They did. Um, we have the living choice uh, player of the game, Jackson Stock. Um, mate, you're... Uh, What's, what's, what's been the difference between uh, the start of the year to where you are now? Your face-off's amazing um, at the moment. Yeah, I just feel like I haven't really practised in the off-season much, but I've just been learning, like, just doing under-17s and league now. And just, like, I've seen, just watched a lot of YouTube videos of, like, TD Erlen and all that stuff and just, like, just watch what they do and, like, what Miles Thompson, how they look at the look at the ref and stuff like that. I feel like I can see it a lot better and just predict it. And, like, even if they hold it for longer, I just know when he's going to blow the whistle. So I feel like just puts me at a bigger advantage and I can just get the ball and just scrape it out a lot, a lot easier. Beautiful. Well, yeah, as I said, sure. you know, the, you, the improvement we were just saying uh, yeah. off air before, uh, yeah. that, you know, you're probably putting your hand up in our eyes at the moment for that rookie of the year. Yeah, you didn't oh, play sorry, no, A grade yeah. last year? No, I didn't. I got best player or best on ground for Div 1, though. So okay. Was, yeah. Well, that's a good uh, step up. Yeah, and obviously... Sure. Uh, Coming into the league team, you've certainly fitted in really well, and yeah. they're, they're probably glad to have you. Yeah, sort of, it is, yeah. I mean, Dougie Brooks was taking those face-offs, and yeah. you kicked him out now? Yeah, I think um because he's doing in under-19s, or well, I think it's under-20s now, I think he's doing shorty midi. So I think the two-way midi? So, sort of, yeah, yeah, so I think he's kind of changed over to that. So he's trying to practice for that and make sure he's good for that. So I think he just kind of doesn't really want to do the face-off anymore. But he's just I think he might do it here and there maybe. But, yeah, for now, yeah, it's just me and Woody, which is, yeah, it's good. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, obviously last week you came up against uh, the uh, Glenelg Bates, Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. And you've had a couple of good games with them this year. Yeah. Obviously Luke Keesing in the face and John Omarinkovic. Yeah, it's yeah gonna that be was a... the first time I played Glenelg. So, because the last okay. time I had other stuff to do, like yep. I think I went for Bert, mate's birthday. So, I've missed a training so I couldn't play. Yep. This is like one of those rules with the team, which is good. So, it's, no. right. so it's good. We like that. Yeah, don't train, good. don't play. Yeah, you earn your sure. spot. So, then you get committed players on the team, which is good. That's what you want for Excellent. a good A-grade And Jack team. Woodford been a, a big influence in what you do? Yeah, for sure. I always look up to him and just like ask what what sort of, like, what's the other person doing just to make sure I get my head around it as well. And he helps me out a lot. So it's yep. good, yeah. Excellent. It's good like that, having an older person helping me Especially out. Especially you know. someone of the quality of Jack Woodford. Yeah, for sure. Showing yeah. up. And, uh, but I can tell you at the moment, yeah. I, don't, I don't think you lost a face-off tonight that I remember. Yeah, I, I don't really mind remember you. Those. The old, the old head <laughs> and the memory starting to uh, to yeah. uh, get older. Yeah, I watched the live for the Bays, and I got I uh, heard Jackson Marsh. Oh, that, yeah, <laughs> I don't know who said that. I don't know who would said that. <laughs> and apparently, <laughs> someone went to correct, and you went back to Jackson Marsh. No, you do that. <laughs> you know, I love you. Yeah, that's all good. That's <laughs> hey, good, at yeah. least people recognise that. Yeah, um, that's all good. So you're looking forward to playing finals across? Yeah. Yeah, yeah should, men's yeah. state league. Oh, yeah, yeah, it should be good. I'm keen as. Have you got enough in you to get over the Seahawks? Oh, I reckon we should. We should, should have enough because well, it was like what 10-7 last, like the game. 10-6 the first, 10-7 yeah, the second. I mean. So we're building our way up, and I reckon we will smash him. And I saw Tommy Freeman out there tonight as yeah. well. Yeah, he's come back from his hamstring. Yep. Um, injury, so it's it's good to and have. And young him Harry back. Edwards played yeah. again tonight oh, as well. He didn't play last it, week. Man. He's killing it. A lot of these young boys that I. It's good. Well, good. You're not so young, young now, are you? Yeah. I remember you're 15. 17. No, yeah. I know you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, 
no, it's good coming up into this grade and all that stuff. So Excellent. All yeah. right. Well, we'll let you get back to the boys Easy. over there. Yeah. Jack, Cheers. congratulations, Easy. mate. I look forward to uh, seeing you throughout the final series Cheers, and keep yeah. ripping it up, eh? Cheers. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Cheers. mate. Cheers. All right. So uh, we are going to uh, end up here. Oh, let me just put this one down. And uh, yeah. Very, um, very uh, great interview for a young young man. Yeah, he's look, um, he, got uh, a bit of talent there. He yeah. certainly uh, has uh, the bit about it at the moment. Uh, we'll just get Lippy out here as well so we can finish off the night. And uh, But what was a really good... Uh, first half in the game at that 5-4 and then uh, just uh, Brighton pushing away late but uh, yeah, good. And the, the disappointing thing about it and Woodville are going to have to work on this being not scoring in the second half will be disappointing from Woodville's side of it yep. but don't take nothing away from Brighton they stepped up a little bit as well and they did really well so it will be it should be an interesting final next week looking forward to the finals yeah looking forward to the finals as I said Friday night live on LSA TV we'll have the two state league women finals that will be Glenelg and Brighton and uh, with the second game there will be Burnside and, and Woodville Sturt. The Woodville Sturt, the Blue Warriors. The Blue Warriors, yeah. So a couple of cracker games on Friday. And then on Saturday, we're going to be out at the East Torrens Paynham Lacrosse Club. And uh, we will have the uh, Brighton Bombers against the Glenelg Seahawks in the uh, playoff to go through to the grand Great. final. And then the 3-4 playoff, we'll see Woodville and, and Burnside, Burnside again. again. Yeah. So... so uh, Plenty of action to be had for your lacrosse for the next three weeks. We look forward to uh, bringing the finals to you. Uh, again, thank you to Christian on the camera. Does a fantastic job as his little thumb comes up in the middle there. <laughs> Mr. Scotty Gill, outstanding as always uh, through the production. And uh, Linton Ascot, mate, thank you very much. No worries, mate. We'll uh, hopefully we'll be back around next week. We will. We'll see you uh, next week for all your finals action in the uh, Friday and Saturday nights. Until then, stay safe. Until the sticks are swinging, we'll see you next week.